so hello everyone welcome to one of the most interesting videos when it comes to documentation which is good documentation practices in clinical research as well as in pharmaceutical industry so when it comes to good documentation practices we document a lot when it comes to clinical research and conducting clinical trials as well as in pharmaceutical manufacturing and documentation so in this particular video i will explain you how to apply this good documentation practices what are the common mistakes or pitfalls when it comes to creating and maintaining records or documentation and how to improve your documentation skills. So without further ado, let's start this session. So first and foremost, let us understand what exactly GDP is. Okay. So GDP stands for good documentation practices. So good documentation practices are internationally accepted practice by which research and manufacturing data is documented and preserved. So whenever you conduct a clinical trial or whenever you are into pharmaceutical manufacturing, you create a lot of documentation and this particular documentation is up to a certain standard, which is called as GDP. So what is the purpose of this particular GDP? Okay. So when you follow a certain set of standards, so that particular source documentation, when it comes to clinical trial should be able to reconstruct the trial as it happens. So whatever you have documented, it should essentially create a visual image in front of the reader to understand all the events that are conducted. And this particular documentation, it should be able to, uh, to help the independent observer, the third party to reconfirm the data, what the activities were done and it should provide an audit trail to permit the investigation if required. So for example, whenever you conduct a subject visit or whenever you manufacture a particular medicine or a capsule, so what practices did you follow? At which time did you conduct which activity? What was the procedure? So that essentially the trail essentially is called as good documentation practices. So when it comes to clinical trial, so good study documentation essentially provides a strong fundamental for the data that is transcribed into case report form. Okay, so whatever data you have in the source that essentially is entered into case report form and that ultimately gets translated into clinical study report. Okay, and whenever that data is essentially used in clinical study report, it is later used for regulatory submission. So you must understand the gravity of this that when you follow the good documentation practices, you essentially follow good quality data. You follow the data integrity that data is used in regulatory approvals. Okay. So your documentation directly impacts your approval of the particular medication, the trial, okay, in clinical research or pharma industry. And speaking about good documentation, so it is a very good idea to have yourself certified in clinical research. So if you're looking to make your career in clinical research and you have, you're looking for a certification at a very reasonable cost, then our friends at Clinical AIM Research Institute offer an amazing course in the form of advanced certification clinical research where they teach you essentially the fundamentals of clinical research. They also teach you about clinical data management, pharmacovigilance. So they have an upcoming batch in the month of August. So go ahead uh, and call them and register yourself and get this amazing certification under your belt. Now speaking about where the good documentation practices are mentioned in ICGCP. Okay. So when it comes to ICGCP, so in ICGCP E6 1.51, it explains about source data, how the source data should be. So all the information in original records and certified copies of original records of clinical findings, observation and other activities in clinical trial necessary for reconstruction and evaluation of the trial data. So in ICGCP also it explains how the original record should be, how the certified copy should be and what is the role in finding in observation and in clinical trial to reconstruct and evaluate the particular clinical trial. So that is GDP aspect in ICGCP. Another aspect in ICGCP uh, for good documentation is when it talks about the source data. So whatever the source data is generated in a clinical trial, so that should be in original documentation in original data and records. Now what can be original data and what is original records? So it can be any hospital records, the clinical and office charts, laboratory notes, any mem memoranda, any subject diary, any evaluation checklist, uh, 
okay uh, whatever medical reports x-ray reports subject file pharmacy uh, documentation lab reports so all of the reports which is included in this so that becomes your source data okay and that essentially help us to understand what exactly was being done in clinical trial okay similarly in pharma uh, industry and manufacturing part it essentially helps that which particular uh, material was used what was the concentration of it what is the packaging procedure in it and how did we do that so essentially all the aspects where the original records or documentation are present that is your source data okay and that is very critical for good documentation practices so as i said that there are certain standard for good documentation practices which are to be used daily in clinical research sites and pharmaceutical manufacturing industry so these particular standards are essentially boils down to the fundamentals of the source notes standards okay what are the source notes which are essentially created in the first line okay so when it comes to that so whatever the standards we use for the medical record documentation okay or any manufacturing documentation that same standards are to be used to the source notes and clinical research document okay that is the first and foremost point second thing is whenever you are using any particular documentation to note source so each and every page must have at least two identifiers to clearly describe that this document belongs to which particular trial okay or which particular manufacturing unit next thing is whatever the entries you are making it should be signed and dated in real time so that you establish that whatever the source are written it is written by me and it is written on this particular date and this particular time next aspect is that when you are making source documentation you will essentially make errors and these errors are to be corrected now these corrections are whenever you make this particular correction that should be made by drawing a single line okay through the incorrect entry but and doing your initials and date so if i have to show you that part so let me uh, write here so for example i've made a particular mistake okay so i have written uh, xyz documentation so i have to correct this particular documentation so what i will do in this case is i will not obliterate this document i will just put a single entry here okay what i will do is i will add my initials okay and what i will do is i will add today's date okay 1st of july 2023 okay so when you look at this particular section what you understand is that this was the initial entry we have corrected this this is the per person who made correction and when this correction was made okay so when you follow such uh, practices you essentially uh, are aware that what particular corrections are to be made and which particular fashion so as i've said that never obliterate this entry because i have seen uh, with a lot of people that uh, for example they write this and whenever they make correction they will do like this so never do that what you do is if you make a correction just put a single line you put your initials and you put the particular date okay so that is a method that how you perform okay so next practice is that whatever the subject records are generated that should be stored okay and that should be secure but accessible okay so whenever uh, another study coordinator wants to read that record want to conduct a visit that should be ac accessible but it should not be accessible to another person who is not part part of that study okay that is a requirement next part is that whenever you create any particular uh, record if that record is incorrect do not alter the past date or uh, the notes okay by writing alongside the roads so whenever you do that whenever you manipulate the initial entry that update should be made in the form of addendum okay and that particular addendum is to be added separately on a separate page mentioning that which particular addendum is this and why is this required next part is whenever you are using a record do not ever use pencil okay always use dark and wet ink so that that particular record are finalized okay and you cannot make any changes because this is very important when it comes to audit if they find that you have made a uh, 
changes to the documentation it essentially reflects bad on you and it also explains that these particular records have been tampered with okay so follow this procedures follow this uh, practices and you will essentially improve in your documentation skills and most importantly never use white out okay whatever documentation you have to correct please correct that and do not use any white out or any uh, particular whitener okay so next uh, next aspect is alcoa principle okay so it is very important that you follow the principles of data integrity okay so whenever you do source documentation it should essentially follow this alcoa principle so that you have essentially a guarantee that this particular document document is of a certain standard so when it comes to alcoa so it is an acronym so first is uh, a from the alcoa so a is attributable so it essentially tells you that who wrote this document okay who is the author of this document next is legible so that documentation you should be able to clearly read next that documentation should be contemporaneous which means that is this particular documentation or the data current it does it have correct time okay and in the notation is the date and signature of the same time okay that is contemporaneous next is original so that whatever source document is that should be in the original form okay it should not have any alteration and whatever source document is it should be accurate so you can see that whenever a documentation is presented so are there any conflicting data elsewhere where it is mentioning the same event but different data and whatever the uh, whatever the data is that should essentially be precise and reflect whatever the event for example if the blood pressure was 12181 so it should clearly say 12181 everywhere a lot of time when i see in edc it says 120 by 80 in source it says 121 by 81 so the discrepancy noted essentially is not good for good documentation practices okay these are alcoa principles if you want to read about alcoa principles in detail so uh, i have made already a video on it so go ahead and check it out i'll again uh, put link in the description you can uh, read alcoa principle uh, deeply even there are alcoa plus principles also so uh, give that video uh, a view so what are the other areas for good documentation practices that you should remember so first is note to file so whenever you do source documentation there are going to be errors and you have to explain why this particular errors are made and why it has been departed from the protocol whatever the reasons are that you have departed from the protocol that essentially is to be noted in the form of note to file okay a lot of time you call it ntfs and there attempts are made to correct or prevent uh, those particular departures for the future so that it is included and they should not be used as an panacea for any uh, error so that you don't repeat the same thing again okay next thing is when it comes to inform consent so uh, the inform consent process required documentation and it should essentially reflect whatever the irb has approved and the narration should essentially use that particular checklist so all the points all the inclusion and exclusion criteria are to be documented in your source notes in your source narration and that has to be signed and dated by the person who is obtaining the consent which is essentially the principal investigator or sub investigator and that should be done on the same day at the same time and not at the later date okay so it helps us understand what happened in that consent what was discussed okay and how it was documented next part is the medical records okay so whatever the medical records are from outside source so that has to be copied for example you get a uh, lab reports from the central laboratory so that uh, reports are to be printed the inclusion and exclusion criteria or the adverse event from the medical values are to be reviewed by the pi and whatever the pi review is that should be essentially documented that pi has reviewed the pi should sign and date if there is any higher or lower value that has to be marked clinically significant or non clinically significant cs ncs based on pi discretion other part is questionnaires so whatever questionnaires do you have in the particular study that uh, should be documented and reflected whenever you complete the questionnaire in compliance to the protocol 
and for questionnaires completed by the staff the note should reflect how the information was observed who took that particular interview which study participant was there if it was a phone call interview what was discussed and what is documented in the chart so these essentially are the principles of good documentation practices okay i hope i have able to help you uh, in good documentation practices and in understanding that so uh, if you found this helpful so please share it uh, like and share uh, with your friends and colleagues and make sure that uh, you subscribe to our channel clinical uh, research x360 and uh, help us in moving forward